After we've talked about grip and spin, we want to talk about wrist snap. Um, wrist snap is a very important part of this, um, along with leg drive and along a, a lot of young ladies I see have trouble with their wrist snaps and their leg drive. So the first thing we'll talk about most importantly is wrist snap. And there are a lot of drills you can do to work on your wrist snap, which you can refer to in the drill video that we'll be putting out. But uh, when I'm talking about wrist snap, there's a couple of things that you need to know. First of all, you want to make sure that your wrist snap and your release is at your hip. Okay? You want to make sure that at release your hips are open. If you're my catcher, my hips are open to you as my arm comes through this path. And my wrist, my wrist snap and my release is going to be right here, nice and tight. My arm is long and it's at my wrist. I mean at my hip, excuse me. Um, my wrist snap is going to be full, so meaning I'm going to be all the way bent back. As I come in here, I'm going to snap all the way through. Okay? And the ball is going to be peeling off of my fingertips and then I'm going to finish. Okay, so you want to have a good wrist snap right here at the hip. Okay, and it wants to be tight. And you want to, um, as a pitcher, it's important that we remember that there's a power line. And my power line is going to run right from the middle of the mound. And I can show you. Okay, here's my mound right here. And the power line is going to write right through the middle of the mound all the way to my catcher. And I want to make sure that I stay on that line. I think a lot of pitchers have a tendency to get sloppy and they do not stay on their lines and their steps get off, which knocks their whole body off. So that's important when we're talking about the pitch. Okay. So when I'm doing anything with the wrist snap um, and talking about release, which is at the hip, I want to be on my power line, which is running all the way through to my catcher. And I want to work nice and tight by the hip. And I want to work on getting a full snap as I'm close to my hip. Okay. As I was saying with wrist snap, you also want to make sure that your hand is facing the correct way. Uh, what I was saying with the wrist, with the spin on the ball is, if you're releasing the ball incorrectly at your hip, which means you can be coming through with your pinky and coming through like this, or also coming over this way, you will not get the correct snap and spin like we talked about the four seam. So you want to make sure that your wrist is almost like you have a laser through the through the palm of your hand and you're you're driving that laser all the way through to your catcher you want to make sure that your hand is in this position at release and you get a full snap